welcome back to my channel thanks for joining me on another video so today i thought i would give you a tour of our new man cave i want to say our i mean my husband's so he was set up in this room for his office and he has since started to work with me full time and so we decided to transform this room into a guest bedroom slash man cave so i thought i would give you a tour of that today if you have not seen instagram photos just in case you kind of want to know in detail what we did to this room that is what we're doing today but first if you're new here i hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing and also give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video so let's jump in i'll give you a tour i'm going to show you before and afters and let's get this thing going so if you want to see that make sure to stick around Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you a tour of the man cave, but first we gotta show you where we started. And so this room was a hot mess. It was my husband's office. Uh, he worked from home, of course, for his corporate job. He has since started working with me full time, go us. So we are a dynamic duo now, full time. And so this room didn't need to be an office anymore, but we still wanted to have elements of that. And so we completely transformed it. So I'm gonna insert some before pictures and before videos so you can see, don't judge me, because this room became a bit of a storage area. was probably the most underutilized room in the house even when my husband was working in here because it wasn't as functional as it needed to be and it was just just storage in certain places and function in other places it was mismatched and it just didn't work out for us so uh, we had plans to do this room anyways even if my husband was still working full-time at his regular corporate job and uh, so we were still gonna do this room but it kind of pushed us forward to do it because we had company coming in town and we needed a place for them to stay that wasn't in the basement because we work in the basement we didn't want to disturb him and so we said let's just try to figure out this room we need to do it anyways and so we painted we pulled off molding we did a ton of stuff it took us a long time I mean not a long time uh, because it took us a few days but those were long nights of painting and cleaning uh, so first thing we did was got the carpet clean so we hired someone to come in and clean the carpets they clean Addison's carpet as well uh, because this was my homeschool room and then this was my craft room and you know how that goes when it's your craft room there's stuff everywhere all over the floor that was glitter glue all kind of stuff so we had to get the carpets clean so that's what we did first and then we painted so we painted this gray color that I painted throughout my whole entire house it is called modern gray and then I had them tint it with a little extra gray so it's a custom color uh, so we did that then we added molding to the wall just to make it pop even further And so it's finally complete with the exception of a barn door. We're gonna add a barn door. So I'm gonna do a separate video for that so I can show you guys how we're gonna build it. And uh, that should be a fun project. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna walk you through exactly what we did. All right, y'all, so this is the space completed. I am obsessed with it. We have been spending a lot of time in this room now. You know how it is with new things. And so, again, we painted. So as you can see, it's like a gray color. And I love this color. It's my favorite color. So if you're looking for something similar, just uh, DM me or send me an email and I'll take a picture of the can and send it to you. It's from Lowe's. It's called Valspar Paint. And uh, if you want the same exact color, it's really, really a nice color, as you can see. It's like a uh, gray gray but the original modern gray is in my foyer and it's like a grayish so it's got a little bit of a more of a tint of, of beige to it so I love this color so we painted the whole entire room this wall had molding on it so we had to take the molding off I can see the imperfections but you guys probably can't but there was like a mold 
put pictures in so you guys saw how much of a hot mess it was and so this room has been a lot of different things and so I am feeling really good about this because it's got a desk in here it's got a couch in here which pulls out so I'll show you that and so it's very functional in here okay so let's start on this side and pretty much everything is from Amazon y'all know how I do I just love Amazon so lamps from Amazon and the cool thing is that they've got the thing here so that they can plug up the phone here it's a really good sized desk and in terms of the chair I had an extra chair from our dining room set it came with a certain amount of chairs and we didn't use them all because we used a bench my husband built a bench and so we always had this extra chair so it kind of works out perfectly that I can just store it in here or keep it in here so that we could have it for the desk area I wanted a minimal look so as you can see it's just the desk a chair and then we've got that mirror up which I love Amazon 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 Ikea Amazon everything is from Amazon the rug the plant that this everything so you guys don't have to ask unless I pointed out it came from Amazon so don't you love the minimal look of that I don't want it to look too cluttered I'm gonna have to do something with those cords to make it look even neater and so I love the look of that so that is the mirror there circle mirror I've always wanted and then the nice desk with the chair there so that you could still work there's plenty of space in here for that so you can work in here he can work in here and then he can also relax when he's ready to relax so then we've got his books over there that's a shaker it came from his father so he definitely wanted to display that and then he's got tons of books here and he's got a love never fail sign and his printer which is a laser printer so it's tiny it's perfect Amazon again and so that way he can print as needed so I love this all of the furniture came from a collection on Amazon I'll try to remember to link it and so that's why everything matches so you can see the desk matches that matches that matches this came from my living room I bought another one for the living room to replace this one um, because I thought it would be cool I'm gonna take the wheels off of eventually so that it could slide under the couch but it's cool to have this in here for those days you just want to work on the couch and so we've been of course using this a lot we love this so that's why I had to get another one for downstairs because we use it in our living room as well and so again bookshelf back here where he keeps all his books he's gonna add more stuff there eventually but I just again love the minimal look so I have to kind of get on him because he wants to add everything over there and I'm like well let's still try to make it look you know clean and declutter that's what we're trying to do right now simplify our lives and we're trying to become more a minimalist which means purging so I'm trying to encourage that he is definitely a person that likes to hold on to things and so as you can see we added molding just for a little touch a little pop of something something I add the molding here and then I added it up here. And then the same thing is behind the couch. You can't see it, but it's down there too. So if we decide to change the position of the couch, you'll be able to see that molding a little bit better. And then you see it here on this side as well. So I love a good molding project. I just do that throughout my house. It's cheap and it's, it looks fantastic. And then we added these drapes. I went for like a sheer creamy color because I wanted it to just stay neutral. I want this room to be neutral even though it is a man cave. I wanted it to look manly but still have my touches on it too. And so um, my husband, of course, we work together on this project. But, you know, I picked out most of the furniture. Probably all of the furniture. And so he uh, just kind of helped me set things up. That's my thing. So we also added a fan. So this fan actually came from our bedroom and I recently had purchased it and it was small. My husband said, that tiny fan is going in our room and he put it up and then um, I said, you know, how about we get a new fan for our bedroom and we bring this fan in here. So it works out perfectly. It has that farmhouse feel. Everything just flows. And so, of course, we have to have a fan in here because we like having fans throughout our whole entire room. Okay, so we've talked about this corner here, desk, lamps, chair, that little table there that pulls over the couch eventually once we take the wheels off. The rug came from Amazon as well. Don't you love it? It's super neutral, very pretty, and it just goes with the space, so I love it. This ottoman came from Amazon as well, and we just use it to just have a footstool. I didn't want anything too big and bulky because I just wanted, again, to, to stay as simple as possible. And so the couch is the superstar. It is from Ikea. We had to have it once we saw it. We went in, they didn't have it available, and so we had to come back the next day because these are so popular that they get a shipment of like 20 in every day. And so we just went back the next day and we were able to get it. 
pillows from Amazon, they came as covers. I had to buy the pillows separately, just FYI. This thing is so awesome because it pulls out as a bed. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. So it's got those two straps on the side to make it easy to pull. And let me actually set my camera up so you guys can see it better. So wasn't that so cool? So it's got a ton of space here for that person to use as a bed so they can lay here. And it also has some storage in here. Isn't that so cool? I love this piece, this is my fave. It's modern, but it's still functional. And so this is the bed. And so that's how this room kind of dual is dual purpose. You know, it's a, a place for guests to come sleep and stay. And it's also a place where we can come and lounge and watch a good movie. And then also, it's my husband's man cave. So this room is very functional. So I'm all right now about redoing certain parts of the room on a budget. And so stay tuned for more videos like this. I'm trying to get my mojo back and do more of these types of videos. You guys said you miss them and I miss doing them. So I'm gonna get back into it. And so when it comes to putting it back, you literally pull the straps here very easy so let me set you back up easy peasy right don't we love that okay so that's the couch so this is where we spend a lot of our time now um, you know we have do we have the basement which we used to spend a lot of time in but because we work down there we want to feel like there's a separation in life so we want to be able to come up from the basement and go into a space where we can still enjoy still hang out as a family but it doesn't feel like we're in the workspace we kind of want to have two separate spaces so that way we know when we leave we're not working we're done with work we're turning it off and we're enjoying life and so that's why another reason why we kind of wanted to make sure that we had this sort of space up here um, and then a space is not the bedroom we're always in the living room so you know sometimes refreshing things and um, having another space in the house that you can relax in specifically for my husband because he had never really had a space um, is key because I have my craft room but he didn't really have a space for himself besides his office but it didn't really feel like his and so although I did decorate the space he said he loves it and he feels like it's his space and that's what I'm all about okay so let's come to this wall hello there <laughs> So I am obsessed with this basketball art. So I was just doing a search on Pinterest and I ran across this art from this shop. I'll try to link it um, on Etsy. They had lots of different sketch art. And so I asked them, did they prefer football or did they prefer basketball? And they said basketball. It came with four different designs. The last design that you don't see here is the design or sketch of a shoe. And so they picked out these three. So I decided to hang them here. Actually, my husband hung them. But look at that, isn't that super cool? It's just like a little sketch of a basketball. And then we've got a sketch of a basketball court which I'm hoping you can see. Isn't that so cool? And then that's just a sketch of a basketball hoop. They love it, they love it. And uh, what I did is I found these frames here from Walmart. These are poster frames. I can't remember the size, but the listing in Etsy, they allow you to have multiple different sizes. And if you can't find the size within their shop, they will custom make one for you or resize it for you. So they had to resize this for me. It's like 18 by 22 or something like that. Um, and so I found these frames for relatively cheap from Walmart. I think they were like $16 each. And then to get it printed was $25 each. So so it was pretty expensive but I think it looks great and it was totally worth it to kind of tie everything all together so this was probably my favorite part because I just think it's so chic and cool and different and so this is my next favorite piece I love this lamp I had these lamps over there one of these lamps was over here but I thought it was too small and so I just started to do a search on Amazon and I found this lamp and I love it it's like a chrome lamp it's really pretty and it's got that little handle there which is super cool and the lampshade and it's black you guys know i don't typically lean towards black but uh because this is my husband's room of course 
he does. <laughs> but I thought this was just a, such a cool lamp. I really, really like the lamp a lot. And so I thought that was the perfect addition to the space. And then we come over to this side. My husband, of course, had to have a little refrigerator situation so that he could put drinks and beers and things like that in. Got this on Amazon, I think it was about $250, uh, which I thought was a good price. It's really cool. He's got nothing in there yet. He's trying to let it, I think, cool. Yeah, so that's this side. That's how you open it. So that's really cool, right? So he's probably trying to let it cool first. He just recently got this. And then he's gonna add all his favorite drinks. I love that it's see-through so that you can kind of see, kind of comes becomes like a, a decorative piece as well. And so it is put in this corner right here, which uh, could be a problem, but it's not because we have a solution. We are putting up a barn door. So this door is going away and we are putting up a sliding barn door. I already have all the hardware and everything that I need. I just have to build the door. And so that's what I was saying that I was gonna do a separate video for that. So the barn door will slide out that way. So it won't need to open and hit this refrigerator piece. I told him he could also move this down if he wants, but I do like center stuff. But I think he'll be fine once that um, barn door gets installed. And then this will be our linen closet. Y'all, our house doesn't have a linen closet, which is weird. So we're gonna make this into a linen closet. Stay tuned, I'm gonna do a full video on that as well so that you can see how I'm going to go about doing that, which is gonna be super tricky, um, but I'm up for the challenge. So there will be a barn door right here and that will make this area complete. So there'll be a barn door right here, which will make this area complete, besides the fact that I've gotta get in that closet and clean it out and reconfigure it. And then this, of course, I told you everything is from the same collection. That's why it looks the same. These are nesting tables, which I, I'm obsessed with. I, I put them like this, but of course you can pull them out and put them however you'd like. I thought it would be a pretty cool just side table, but just that looks different. It doesn't look like your typical side table. And so that's why I went with the nesting tables. I thought it was just really cool. So that's what we've got there. And then this is the TV console where he's got like his video game systems. I've got some small good stuff in there. The remotes stay there, controllers, all that good stuff. And then of course the TV. And then this plant I got from Amazon as well in this little basket, it sits inside of there. So that way it gives the room a little bit of greenery. I felt like it was missing some green. And so I definitely wanted to add that to the mix so that way it would just give it that pop of green. It would make it look homey and it would just kind of tie everything all together. And so that is the space y'all, that is it. So I'm ready to move on to the next space. I feel like I'm, I'm all about, or I'm in the mode rather of DIY and redoing spaces on a budget of course because I'm broke <laughs> so I need it to be affordable and so hopefully you enjoyed this video and you will enjoy the content to come because I'm excited to start sharing with you more projects more DIYs more more stuff like that so I'm trying to get back to basics y'all so thank you so much for watching today let me know if you have a question about anything that you've seen today I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for stopping by. Comment below. Let me know what you think. I would love to know how you feel about the space, what you think about the space. And of course, again, if you have any questions, I'm all about it. So let me know what questions you may have and I am here for you, okay?